Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and get started now. Um, so first question, uh, I assume that you already did the uh, week 13 sections by yourself. Is there any part of the sections that anyone might have had trouble with? We could look at it now before we look at the labs. Okay, well, if there isn't, we'll, we'll just go straight into the lab then. So, <clears throat> um, I decided to unhide this one lab here. It's 10, it's 1310 uh, lab artwork label. And I, I was looking at the labs, um, this particular one, uh, it has a lot of work involved, but the reason why I like it is because uh, it does cover uh, everything that you need to know in regards to classes. It uh, it, compass, it encompasses uh, the difference between public and private variables, uh, constructors, you have a default constructor and a constructor that accepts parameters. And then you have a, oh, and, uh, a cool thing about this one is that there's a class within a class. So you can see how that works as well. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, there, there's a, quite a few things we have to do, but I, I like it a lot because uh, it would be a good exercise for you guys. So uh, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read this out loud. So we have <clears throat> Uh, lab 13.10, artwork label. So uh, given uh, the main function, so the main function is already done for you, right? Uh, it says, uh, complete the artist class in the files artist.h and artist.cpp uh, with constructors to initialize an artist's information uh, get member get member functions and a print info member function. Um, the default constructor should initialize the artist's name to none and the years of birth and death uh, both to zero. Print info should displace artist name, comma, born uh, their year if the year of death is negative one or artist name this otherwise. Okay. Um, complete the artwork class. Well, I, assuming we do this already, it says, it also says to complete the artwork class in artwork.h and artwork.cpp with constructors to initialize an artwork's information, uh, get, mem get member functions, and a print info member function. Uh, the constructor should by default initialize the title to none. Uh, their year created to zero. Uh, and then it says, de declare a private field of artists in the artwork class, okay? So it looks like the way this works is that uh, if we have an input like this, see? Um, so the very first line it reads is the, uh, the artist's name, right? The second input is the year they were born and then the year of their death. Uh, it outputs uh, this, which is the title of the artwork, and uh, and this here is, I believe, it's the year that the artwork was made, right? Artwork class. Okay. Yeah, this should be the year created. Um. So if the input is this, we would output artist. Pablo Picasso, uh, this is the year of their birth to the year of their death. And this is the piece that they created. It's called Three Musicians and it was created in 1921. Okay. Uh, here's another example. If the input is this, uh, Bryce Martin, they were born in 1938. Now you see the negative one. The negative one indicates that this artist hasn't died yet. And that's why we mark year of death as negative one, right? So um, if they haven't died yet, 
we would simply say born uh, and then the year they are born. But if they did die, we would say their ages, uh, parentheses, year they were born, a hyphen, year of the death, close in parentheses. And then lastly, we output the, the, the name of the piece that they made as well as the year that was created, okay? So again, it's a lot of work, but I like this lab because uh, not only does it encompass pri private and public variables, um, it, it goes over constructors and it also shows a class in a class in case you ever need to do that, right? So yeah, this is this would be very useful, a very good reference for you in case you would need to uh, write a, a program that is, that's as complex as that. So uh, looking at the main.cpp, it looks like the main.cpp is already written for you, right? So we will not touch anything, I'm sorry. We will not touch anything in the main.cpp. Well, what we will be editing is, um, well, first we'll finish writing the artist.h and the artist.cpp files so that our artist class is complete. And when, the nuts, when that's complete, we'll start working on the artwork class. Okay. So I guess first thing we'll do is look at artist.h and artist.cpp and uh, see what it asks us to do. So here's our artist.h file, right? Uh, uh, remember, the header, the purpose of the header files is simply to, to list what kind of members are in the class itself, right? Uh, the definitions of those members go in the CPP file, okay? So, okay. So looking at this, it looks like uh, this looks very simple. There's only one to do here, right? And it simply says, declare private data members. Uh, we need a string called artist name, an int called birth year, and an int called death year. So let's go ahead and do that now. So right here underneath private, uh, here's what you got to do. Uh, let's declare a string called artist name. And I'll just copy paste this. Semicolon. Uh, we need an int called birth year. I'll just copy this. And then lastly, uh, we need another int called death year. Right? Copy that, put it here, add another semicolon. And then that's it. Um, that's the only thing that we need to do in our artist.h file. <clears throat> uh, so as you can see, artist has uh, three private members and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six public members, right? So the private members, which is the ones that we, we already created, uh, they speak for themselves, right? They're just a string that contains the artist's name, uh, an int that uh, holds the birth year and the int that holds the death year. Uh, negative one if th this person hasn't died yet. Uh, if you look in the public members, we have several things. The first one is a constructor, right? And this particular constructor is a default constructor. And the reason why you know that is because this constructor accepts no parameters. That's what the default constructor is. Um, the second one is another constructor, but this one does accept parameters. This is just a parameter constructor. Uh, if we pass it a string and then an int and then uh, another int, it'll pass that as artist name, birth year, and death year, and initialize those three variables, right? Uh, this one is a getter function or a accessor function. It is of type string because of course it has to be and it uh, retrieves the name of the artist. We also have an int uh, member function that returns the birth year, an int member function that returns the death year, and then a 
uh, function that prints info and must be void because we're not returning any sort of data type, right? So now that we artist.h is complete, we can move on to artist.cpp, okay? Now you can see that there's quite a lot to do here, right? But it's okay. Uh, we will get through this just fine. So, so there's four to-dos, right? Uh, let's do them one at a time, shall we? So the very first to-do, let me make this a little bigger so you can see. So the very first to-do uh, says, define the default constructor. Okay, so uh, what you should do uh, is go back to artist.h and get the, uh, the name of the default constructor. And as I mentioned before, this is a default constructor, right? So what I'd like you to do is copy that. Uh, go back to your artist.cpp, paste it underneath this, right? Uh, after you get that there, you want to delete this semicolon. And then you also need to add the, the scope resolution operator to, in order to declare that this function is a member of the artist class. And the way you do that is that you say the name of the class and then put colon colon. So let me go back to the H file and remind myself what it's called. The class is called artist, right? So I'll just copy the word artist Go back to the CPP file, paste it here, put colon, colon, right? So this is saying, hey, this is a default constructor and it is a member of the artist class, okay? Uh, let's uh, put squiggly brackets underneath because we do need to define what exactly this default constructor does. And if you go back to the instructions, uh, we can see what it does, right? It said, uh, initialize the default constructor should initialize the artist name to none, the string, and the years of birth and death both to zero, okay? Well, it, it can't get easier than that, right? So we'll do exactly what it told us to do in the instructions and simply say uh, artist name Should I just copy all three of these for the sake of saving time? Yeah, I think I'll do that. So it said it wanted us to set artist name to the string none with a capital N, right? And then birth of years of birth and death both to zero. So I will say artist name equals double quotes none. And I will say birth year equals zero and death year equals zero. And then that's it. That's the default constructor. So this means that whenever uh, we, de we declare an artist class in the, in the main.cpp, but we don't define what its uh, private members are equal to, this will default it to none, zero, zero. That's the purpose of a default constructor, right? Uh, let's do the next part and define the other constructor that accepts parameters, okay? Um, go back to artist.h, grab this, Uh, go back to artist.cpp, post it here. Uh, once again, delete the semicolon and put artist colon colon in front of it, like so. Uh, put some squiggly brackets underneath because we have to define what this is. Now, uh, here's what this uh, second constructor does. It initialized the private fields, artist name, birth year, and death year. So obviously this constructor accepts three parameters, uh, a string called artist name, an int called birth year, and an int called death year, right? And uh, this one's very, very easy to find too. Um, we would, I, I, I'm lazy, so I'll just copy this. Uh, I'll copy this, but we do need to change these three. 
we don't want to set them to none zero zero. Uh, we want to change artist's name to the argument of artist name. We want to change the birth year to the argument birth year. And then lastly, we want to change death year to the argument death year. And then that's it for this definition. Okay. Um, so what this constructor does, um, if you go back to the main.cpp, uh, it called the default constructor, it, it called it here actually. So what this does is that it's, in line 20, it's creating a new artist called user artist and it's setting it equal to an artist class with the three parameters passed to it. And these three parameters are C in the, in the, in the lines before. So whatever got passed as artist name, we'll set that as artist name. Whatever got passed as birth year, we'll set it to birth year. Whatever got passed as death year, we'll pass it to death year. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, if, if if anyone has any questions or if I'm going too fast, uh, feel free to stop me, right? Um, what's next? So these two constructors are done. What does the next thing say? Oh. The next to do says define the functions, get name, get birth year, and get death year. Uh, okay, we'll do that. It can't get simpler than that. So we need to say three functions, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Copy this, uh, put it here, copy this, put it underneath, copy this, again, put it underneath. Um, we need to add the scope resolution operator again. So I'll copy this, post it here, here, and here. And then add squiggly brackets underneath all three because we need to define what these functions do. Um, another thing that you need to do is because um, functions, uh, functions that aren't constructors, they need to have a type. And that type has to be equal to the type of the data that we're returning. And because these are getter functions, you can tell they're getter functions because they have the word get in front of it. Uh, their type needs to be the same as the thing that we're returning. So because name is a string, this needs to be of type string. So I'll put this, the keyword string right in front of this. Uh, get birth year. Birth year is an int, as you recall. So I'll put int in front of here. And I will put int in front of your, here as well. Let me put some room so it's nicer to look at. Um, so get name simply retrieves the name. So I will just say return name. And then that's it get birth year, we have to return to birth year. So I'll simply say return birth year. Birth year has a capital Y. Like that. And then get death year. Same as before, we will simply say return death year. Nice. So that's this to do out of the way. Uh, last but not least, we have a print info function. Oops. Uh, so again, uh, we'll do what we've been doing before. We'll take this function name, put it here. We need the scope resolution operator. So copy artist colon colon and put it in front. And as always, this function needs to have a type. And if it's not returning a data, we will set it to void. Uh, this is not returning anything. So we'll set it to equal to void. Uh, so how does it want us to write the print info function? Let's, 
Let's have a look. Let's remind ourselves of what we're trying to do. Okay, maybe it's not here. Um, I, I believe that uh, the print info function is it's doing what it's, it's doing in this line, right? Where we say artist colon space, the name of the artist, and then their birth year, death year. But if they didn't die yet, we will simply say born this year, right? Let's have a look at the main.cpp and see how it works. Okay, so it looks like the main.cpp doesn't call the artist's uh, print function, but maybe the print function of the artwork class calls the print function. Let's check real fast. I'm just going to go to artwork.cpp for a quick sec. Oh, it doesn't say we have to define these two. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do it the way I think we're going to do it. We need to say uh, we need to output artist colon, the name of the artist, and then if they died, we would say their birth year and death year in this format. But if they're still alive, we would just simply say born. So, uh, Here's what we're going to do. I'll say if death year does not equal negative one. So that means the person is still alive, right? So I'm going to have some code here that which I'm going to output if that is the case. But if they're dead, uh, I'll have an else here and then I'll have a statement to output if uh, they do have a death year. So I'm going to see out artist colon space. And I would say uh, oh, I made a mistake here. It's not name, it's artist name. Sorry about that. But uh, say artist name and then if they they are they didn't die yet we'll say comma space born space and then their birth year so i will say comma space born space and then their death year or their excuse me their birth year and line. That's what you would do if they they don't have a death year. But if they do have a death year, we would output this slightly differently. Instead of saying this, we would say space, open parentheses, their birth year, then a, then a slash or a, a dash, and then their death year, close parentheses. So we would output open parentheses, birth year, um, dash, uh, death year, and then close parentheses. And I believe that's how you do it, right? Is this the same format as this? Yeah, it looks like it to me. So um, this is the code that you need for artist.cpp. You need the default constructor, the second constructor, the getter functions, and the print info function. So far, so good. 
So assuming this works, we wouldn't know if it works until we actually tested it, but we're just gonna assume it works for now and move on. Um, so now that we completed the artist class, we can move on to make the artwork class in the files artwork.h and artwork.cpp, okay? So we need to write the, the constructors for this one as well, right? Um, complete the artwork class and artwork uh, with constructors to initialize the artist information, get functions, print info, so on and so forth. Uh, the constructor should by default initialize the title to none and create you to zero. And then create, declare a private field of type artist in the artwork class. So uh, you can see here, we had to have finished the artist class before getting started on the artwork class because the artwork class uses the artist class, right? Uh, lucky for us, we already did it. So let's move on. Uh, let's have a look at artwork.h and see what it tells us to do. Okay, great. So uh, taking a good look at here, um, you can see that artwork has five public variables, a default constructor, a parameter constructor, a getter function for the title, a getter function for the year, and the print function, right? Um, we need to declare two private variables. Well, excuse me, three. Uh, we need to declare private variables for a title and year created. Again, uh, this is very simple. It's the same as before. We will simply say string title, title, put that there, semicolon, and then int year created. Um, uh, I'll say int year created, put that there, put a semicolon, okay. Now, as always, an artwork needs to also have information about the artist as well, um, their name and their birth year and their death year, if any. But the thing is, we actually don't need to declare those three variables again because we already declared a class that all the, that has those three, and it's called artist. And that's the reason why we wrote the artist class first before putting this in the art artwork class, okay? So over here, what you need to do is the same way you declared a, a variable called title that's of type string and a variable called year created that's of type int, you need to declare another variable for the artist. So um, the data type for this one is gonna be artist and we can use this because uh, this is simply saying, hey, this is a variable of the class art artist that we created. And we need to give this a name. Um, well, it, it would be confusing to call this artist artist because they would have the same, the type and the variable would have the same name. So let's give it a, a unique name. Maybe let's call it the artist so that they're different names, okay? Um, so this is all the work that you need to do for the artwork.h file. Just declare these three variables, okay? Uh, let's move on to artwork.cpp. Okay, so here are our to-dos. We need to define the default constructor. We need to define the parameter constructor, uh, finish the getter functions and print, write the print info function, okay? So the default constructor, let's go back to artwork.h and retrieve it. Uh, it's this one here, okay? Grab that, go back to artist or art, art, artwork.cpp. Put it here and delete the semicolon. Now, in order for us to in indicate that uh, Valerie Morris says in the chat, what did you put in lieu of artist? Uh, are you talking about in uh, the H file? 
yeah. Oh, I just put the artist. Okay, thank you. Well, you, you honestly, you can put anything you want. It just has to be a different name. But anyways, um, so we need to indicate that this function is a member of the artwork class. And you already know how to do that. You simply say artwork colon colon in front of it, right? So it puts artwork colon colon in front of it. Uh, put squiggly brackets underneath. So uh, let's remind ourselves, what did we want the default constructor to do? Let's read the instructions. It said the constructor should by default initialize title to the string none and then year created to zero. Okay, we'll do that. So we will simply say, well, I'll go back here. Um, title and year created. I'll copy that. Go back here. I only want the variable names. Title needs to be set to the word none with a capital N. Year created needs to be set to zero because that's what the instructions told us to do. So that's it for the default constructor. Um, well, the thing is, artwork not the artwork class has three private variables. It doesn't have something that we can pass as artist, does it? Well, if we don't pass anything for artists, the default constructor for artists will be called. So that means it the name, birth year, and death year will be none, zero, zero. So that's probably fine, right? Uh, secondly, we have to define the, the, the parameter constructor. So go back to art, artwork.h, uh, grab this here copy that, go back here, paste it, uh, get the uh, scope resolution operator, delete the semicolon, add squiggly brackets. Now, uh, this one's very simple, uh, simple enough that I can copy these lines. We, instead of saying title equals none, we have to say title equals the thing that we're passing as the title, and that's title, OK? So title equals the argument title. Uh, year created equals the argument year created. And then we have a parameter to pass as the private variable of artist, and that's called artist. So I will also say artist, artist equals the argument artist grab that, put it here, semicolon. And then that's the definition of this constructor as well. OK. Uh, next to do says we have to define the getter functions, get title and year created. So copy this, put it here, copy this as well, put it here, add the scope resolution operator. Uh, put a, some squiggly brackets, squiggly brackets. Okay. So the getter functions, they do exactly what uh, we want them to do. This one needs to return the, the title, right? So I will say return. Oh, I forgot something important. Uh, I have to put the types. So because get title, get title, a uh, title is of type string. So I have to put string in front. And then I can say uh, return title, right? I uh, get year, year 
you're created as, as a type in. So I'll put in here. And then we will say return year created. Like that. So there's that. Um, uh, last but not least, we have to print the print info function. Okay. Um, so what I'd like you to do, copy this, put it here, get the scope resolution operator, put it in front. It needs a type and because uh, print functions are typically don't return anything, we will put void, put squiggly brackets, And then we need to remind ourselves what this print function is supposed to do. Um, what constructor is, yeah. We did that. Um, we did this as well. We did that. Um, so, one moment, let me look at the main.cpp real fast and try to figure out how they want us to print this. So, okay, I, I understand. So, um, the print info function here, it needs to. Uh, we made print info functions for both artist class and artwork class, but it looks like the main.cpp only calls one print function and that's of the artwork class. So I think that in order to do this correctly, the print function of the artwork class also needs to call the print function of the artist class. Because remember, the artwork class has an artist variable in one of its private members. So if we want it to print, if we want print info on line 24 to output something like this, right? We need to call the artists class print function and then we have to print this. Okay, that seems easy enough. Go back to artwork.cpp. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, print the artwork print print info function. It needs to call the print info function of its artist variable. So here's what we're going to do. Um, what did I name my artist variable again? I called it the artist, right? So. I'll copy this and going back here, I actually realized that I made a mistake here because I called the private variable, uh, the artist. I actually have to change this line 16, say the artist. So make sure you fix that before going any further. Um, next, um, so for this print function to work, we need to call the artists uh, print info function. So I will say the artist, and then the way I access functions here is using the member access operator, and that's the period. So I'll put period. That's my member access operator here, the period. And I will say, what did I call the info function again? Let me remind myself. It was just called print info. Okay. So go to your artist.h, copy the print info function, go back to artwork.cpp and post it here. Okay. So uh, when you call this, what this does is it goes to 
artist.cpp and it uh, calls this function here. If death is equal to negative one, it'll output this, but if they're still alive, they'll, it'll output this. Okay. Now we're not finished yet. We also need to have it output this here. We need to say title colon space, the title comma space, and then uh, the year it was created. So go back to our work.cpp. Uh, underneath this line, this prints the artist for us, but now we need to print this. So over here, what I'd like you to do is say C out. Say title colon space. say the title of the artwork, and that's simply called title. Uh, output another, a comma and then another space. So. And then lastly, output the year or the year created, like that. Uh, do we need to end the line too? I, I think we do. So I'll just put in though. And I believe that's it. Um, so we did everything it told us to do. Uh, let me, this is artist.h, we made these. This is artist.cpp, we defined everything from here to here. This is artwork.h, we defined, we declared these. Artwork.cpp, we said everything from here to here. Uh, before we run this, let me, quickly look at the main.cpp and look check to see if it does everything we want it to do. Of course, we have to include these two. That looks fine. These are just getting the functions. So it says this, it says this. So I think this will work. Um, but I'll, as always, there's only one way to find out. Let's submit this and see. No, it didn't work. So let's see. No, hmm. a lot of things wrong. Okay, let's see. No declaration matches string artist pet name. That was line 24. Get name. Oh, it had these cons here. So maybe I have to put cons in the and this as well. Would I put cons here? Would those errors disappear if I put it there? Hmm. No declaration matches this. Artist print info. Hmm. Does the cons need to be over here. I, 
I guess that means we also need to do it here if it uh, did them here as well. Okay, there's no, the const keyword is not there. Um, Hmm. Did you forget to include that O string? Um. Hmm. What did we do wrong? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, let me take a quick minute to look what I did wrong. Okay. I'll share again. So it looks like for this, the const actually has to be, I was, I was right the first time, the, the const keywords have to be over here. The print info function is also a constant. So let me put that there as well. Let's run it again and see what errors it spits out. This is all part of being a programmer, guys. Artwork doesn't have a type. It does have a type. It's artwork. Let me stop my share for I, 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 again and double check. Um, Sorry guys, this is taking a while. Um, let's see, this one looks correct. 
one looks correct. What about this? Okay, um, here's another thing that needs to be fixed. So apparently artwork.cpp forgot to include art Let's fix that and see what other errors there are. Okay, so uh, adding this fix a lot of the errors. Let's see what other errors there are. See, I was not declared this scope. Um, so artwork.cpp, did we forget to include iostream in artwork.cpp? Well, we we include artwork.h, did artwork.h? No, it did not. So go back to artwork.cpp. Let's also include IO stream. And uh, let's also add using name space standard. Um, that could be it. Let's run it once more. Sure does take a while, huh? Uh, let's see. Uh, we're close. Uh, oh wow. It looks like it's getting gobbledygook for the uh, for the born year. So that's not right. So there's something wrong with the getter function for the birth year. Okay. So let me quickly look at my artist.cpp birth year. Mm. Return birth year. It's a type int, right? Yep, it's a type int. So what went wrong? Hmm. It also got gobbledygook for the uh, title as well. That's not right. <sighs> this is all part of programming, guys. Mm hmm. So Jose Garcia says, yep, the debugging part. Um, so 
Um, let me stop my share and look at the solution again. What am I missing? No, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not, it's having a tr hard time trying to f retrieve the artist's year and the uh, artist's name. I don't think the error is in the artist class. Let's look at the artwork class. We have title and new creator. Hmm. I just don't understand what's wrong. I'm I'm real sorry about this, guys. I'm trying to figure it out. At the same time, I'm I'm trying not to so show the solution to you guys too. If I was doing this on Visual Studio, I would have all the header files open on one screen so I can look at them all at once. That's all right. How many, um, what score did you get? Uh, four out of 10. Okay. Oh, oh, I think I figured mm -hmm. out what's wrong. I figured out what's wrong. Uh, it, it, it was because uh, I said artist.printinfo. And it's having a hard time accessing it because uh, clearly it's outputting gobbledygook. Because I actually did, oh wait. No, that's not it. I had it there too. The art. Oh, I, th I think I see it. You see it? Yeah, okay, so in the default in the default constructor for artwork, you didn't initialize an artist object and that's has to be part of it. No. You think that's the problem? So we'll say the yeah, artist absolutely. equals and that equals the default constructor of a of an artist. All right, um, no, it have to be it. I think it have to be the default constructor of an artist. Yeah, like the artist equals yeah. Yeah, the artist. All right, 
I'm going to say R is uh, uh, so if I if I say new no because this isn't a um is this acceptable like I, I think it'd be like like the like an artist object like the like the act like you'd use the default constructor for the like the artist equals the default constructor for an artist. All right, let me go to. No, they didn't declare uh, a variable for artist in the solution. Uh, the only difference I see is they used pointer this, but what difference does pointer this mean? I, I'm willing to try anything at this point, so. So I don't know what difference this makes, but let's try it. It shows that it's referencing a class variable. No, it made no difference. It's the same errors as before. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. B because I don't want to waste any more time. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to brute force it with this difference check right here. So let's compare the solutions uh, artwork.cpp with my artwork.cpp. Okay, so one of the differences that I found is that I did not include using names standard in artwork.cpp. Wait, wait, yes, I did. Artist artwork.h God. Aaron Massey said I tried artist equals artist opens parentheses close parentheses and it worked. Really? Um did it? Let's see. Yeah, did you want to see my my uh yeah so like are you saying like yeah, this? So it equals artist. No, okay. like uh the actual object, so like a capital A, right? Because that's how like that. Yeah. That's what you had. Oh, yeah, because artist yeah. artist is the name of the class and then we we capitalize it, right? Mm -hmm. No, it, it it worked for you, Aaron Massey. You got ten out of ten. Yeah, yeah. Wait, do you want to see what I have in compared to what you have? Uh sure. I'll I'll stop my share and then you can share your screen. Okay. Let's see. I so, 
see over here. So they they did. Okay, so I feel like there's something wrong with uh the like the artist the artist class that artist you have maybe. Book. I mean this is I mean the the header is pretty simple, right? It's just Yeah. Yeah. I I'm going to on the on the CPP here. I I use the I use the this the this referencer. Then all right, uh, can I can I share my screen again? Yeah. All right. Oh shoot, not that. Uh yeah. So uh, here's my artist.cpp. Let's see some differences. The, my original one is on the left and the correct one's on the right. So it looks like for artists, I forgot the this operator. Uh, this is the same. This is the same. This is the same. This is slightly different, but it makes no difference. So is that the only thing I'm missing? Do I need this operator? This, this, I put that in and it gave me an eight out of 10. So we're getting closer. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. My bad, guys. I, I should have put that in. Eight out of 10. So far, so good. OK, we're almost finished. It looks like the problem now is the if statement. So Pablo Picasso, because he had a death year that's not negative 1, it should be saying this, but we're saying this instead. So it's a problem with my if statement. So if death year equals, if death year equals negative 1, I need to say this. So if death year is negative one, that means that they don't have a death year because they're not dead yet. So we should be outputting this. But when Pablo Picasso got passed in, his death year is his death year is 1973. 1973 does not does not equal negative one. So this is True. Oh, uh, instead of uh, instead of a does not equal, I think this should be equal because I think that's the only thing that's missing. Let's try it once more and cross our fingers. I think I got my logic messed up. I'm sorry, guys. It's been a long day. Indeed. OK, so this is correct now. All it needs now is a space. And we also, it doesn't need an end line, really. OK, so here's what I want you to do. On this line here, you need to put a space right before this open parenthesis. That's the first thing. And then the second change that needs to happen, apparently there doesn't need to be an end line at the title. I assumed there was supposed to be, but I, apparently there's not. So after you put that space in, go to artwork.cpp. And uh, this end L here, get rid of it. And maybe now it works.
Oh, thank goodness. We did it. That, 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 that was the only thing. So, so a couple of changes needed to occur. We needed to use the this referencer. We also needed to include IO screen. We needed to uh, add this. At, at, at this line here in order to have the the uh, <laughs> the uh, default constructor called and we also had some uh, we also I also needed to uh, clear up this little error here and fix my uh, spacing but that was that was it so uh, if you guys want the code, it's all here. Uh, yeah. Can you look at mine really quick? Uh, yes. Okay. One sec. Because I want all of this to get picked up in the recording. I'll stop my share. Uh, go, go, go ahead and share your screen value more. All right. Um, okay. Um, in uh, lines 20, 21, and 22, you have to say this. Oh. Was there anything else? Did you change right. the not equal sign in art artist.cpp to equal? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. That was a simple, <laughs> I should have caught that. I'm sorry, guys. It's always the simple ones that sneak up on you. Cause you're always thinking about the complex ones. Okay, just one okay, more You're event. almost there. It looked, yeah, you need a space after the word born in your uh, print function. Okay. So. Yeah, it has to be. You have to put a, another space after the word born. Oh, okay. Not, not before. Sense. Not before. It needs to be after. Oops. There it goes. I can't change it. Yeah, okay. wait until it's done and then you can do it again. <sighs> you know, when, when okay. I pick classes instead of classes, I never needed to use this pointer. Um, I, I only use this when I, the this pointer when I'm dealing with the uh, link lists. So maybe the compiler for Zyvo is an older one. Probably. Because I never needed to use it. Oh, well, it don't matter what the reason. Okay. Is. We we Thank you. solved everything. All right. So uh, thanks for coming, guys. Sorry for a very long, long-winded uh, lab, but you know. Programming is, it, it is what it is. It's, it's simple trial and error, right? And uh, you got to get used to it now if you want to, if uh, this is something that you want to do for a living. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for coming, guys. Uh, I hope you learned a lot. Um, be ready in our next meeting. We will start week 14 material. Uh, anyways. I'll see you. I will put this recording up and uh, have a good night. Bye.